we have um, our main office in Stavanger, Norway. We started the company in 1996. The two partners, uh, Helen, Siv, Helen, uh, and Reinhardt from Austria. And I joined months after they started, so I've been in the company since 96, since mm -hmm. the start. Mm -hmm. We started up doing small housing projects, uh, gradually uh, doing bigger housing projects. Mm -hmm. so we have developed into other types of buildings and we want to do other types of buildings. Right now my recent project is a cultural center with a library and a cinema and a concert hall. Mm -hmm. and these are the type of cultural buildings and public buildings are the ones that we give us the most and we are able to express our architecture. Mm -hmm. The site is uh, adjacent to the public uh, square in Venezuela, and it's between a community center and, um, and a learning center. So the concept was to extend the public square into the library, to make the library a place uh, or a, an extension of the public square, to, to actually have the same, have a floor going in. And this was a competition, so um, I think one of the reasons we won was that we managed to put all the main functions on one big plane, not creating a multi-story building, um, but uh, to fit all the functions in one, uh, on one floor. What is the potential in this situation? What is What's there? Uh, is there anything about the site, the people, the material we're going to use that's, that has a potential that we can develop or uh, emphasize? Mm -hmm. uh, and then we work a lot with physical models and then normally then go on to freeform modelers to create, uh, to do the form finding before we go into take the project into ARCHICAD, making drawings and uh, settling more the design. And then there's uh, of course the ribs that we worked a lot with to make them more than just construction but uh, to make them smart in a way, to integrate First, uh, technical things like ventilation, sprinkler, lighting. So it was kind of essential to get all the other engineers, uh, MEP, uh, to get them to understand the geometry and see that we could actually fit technical ducts into the ribs. So without working together in the same IFC model, mm -hmm it would have caused problems on the building site or, or made it too complex. Also, uh, continuing the form of the rib and integrating the furniture, the bookshelves, the benches into one element, I think that's the key to the success of the building. Actually, one of the benefits of, of using wood, because it's very easy to use in CNC machines, uh, you have lots of pre prefabricating systems coming up. I think it's just a benefit to have the, the wood that has a, a tradition in our country. It gives people a, a good feeling, a good smell, and at the same time, it can be a very high tech m material when you combine it and, and can prefabricated. I think the reason why we have um, experienced um, international acclaim uh, is um, that we actually built the projects that we design. Many firms create spectacular design, competitions, beautiful imagery, but we actually built them. And you can only do that through the corporations uh, with the other uh, members of the business, like uh, 
to go through with the whole process and uh, actually mm -hmm. get it done the way we uh, we intended. It, it's a very small community uh, and uh, I think it has given them really a sense of pride when we can tell them that we have sent images of this building to magazines in all continents. Uh, it's been published in uh, countless mag magazines. I think the building itself also uh, encourages people to actually use the libraries. The rate of uh, lent books have mm -hmm. increased quite a lot since they changed to, to the new library. Mm -hmm. It's both become a, a nice new public room in the, in the town and uh, has also uh, really put their name a bit on the map in national newspapers and international magazines.